action. Is this the casting call? Yes, it is. You're in the right place. Good. I thought I was. My name is George Clooney. Not the actor George Clooney, even though I look a lot like him. I know what you're going to ask. Are you two related? I don't know. I'm checking on that on FamilyTree.com. We'll, well see. George, so you are here to audition for the live nativity scene this year. I am very excited about this. I think you, if you allow me to be a part of this production, I could really add a lot to it. Well, great. What character are you auditioning for? Well, I was looking over the script, and it seems like the character is in the play, but not just in, he's just not in the nativity. I'd like to see if we could add him in this year. So you would like to audition for a character that's not even in the live nativity? Correct. You're so easy to talk to. It's true what people say about you. If you allowed my idea to be a part of the story, I think I could really chew up the scenery. Help me help you. Which character are you talking about? King Herod. Herod? I know, right? You're feeling it, aren't you? Where's Herod? You've been wondering the same thing. It's okay. Give it a minute. Let it wash over you. Wondering what? Why the king didn't make a little cameo in the live nativity? He's the one that got the whole thing started with the census. Why is he left out? Well, he's the bad guy in the story. Exactly. Every great story has a bad guy. Darth Vader, J.R. Ewing, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, the New York Yankees. Let's put Herod right in the middle of all of it. He sends the wise men to go and check things out. Oh, that's right. I guess that's why you're the director. What about this? He's one of the wise men, and boom goes the dynamite! There he is, laughing that mean, maniacal King Herod laugh. I've got you this time, my pretty, and your little drummer boy, too. <laughs> I think you just quoted a spy movie and The Wizard of Oz all at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. Let's change up the greatest story ever told. He wanted to kill Jesus. He wanted to kill all the male babies around so he would still be king. He tried to outsmart God. Yes, and he almost did too. He didn't. Not even close. Why don't you just pick a character that was an actual eyewitness to the greatest story ever told? I don't want to. All the characters that were there actually on the scene were poor, dirty, and they wore no flashy clothes. That's no fun. That's the only way it works. <laughs> no. George. I want to do it my way. My, my idea is a great idea. Let's change the story. My story. That's where you and so many people get it wrong. It's not your story. It's his story. Sorry, the script isn't about you. I would love for you to play a part in this story, but when you made it about you and your ideas, we lose sight of why we are celebrating the greatest story. Okay, I see what you're saying. My ego is not my amigo. I guess I'll audition for the shepherd. He saw an angel, and he gets to carry a big stick. Sure. Great, but how about this? He isn't a shepherd at all, but a time traveler. He gets transported to the 8th century BC. And he knows all this stuff and helps everyone and saves the world from destruction and despair. And that's what Jesus did. Next! <laughs>